Hi, I'm going to show you really quickly how to add a background pattern to your applique pieces in, um, in Brilliant. So this can be used on applique pieces like shapes, but it's really great for applique monograms and names like you see here. Um, this is really cute for picking out fabrics, taking pictures of them, and then sending it to customers so that you can show them what it looks like and also gives you an idea of what it looks like. So let's start a new document here. And I'm using the five by seven hoop because that's what most people are gonna have. So I'm just gonna show you using our new Sophia Alpha. Click the A to start a word. Going up to any of your applique alphas will work. We're gonna use the BK Sophia Alpha in three inch. I'm gonna do the name Bell. And then of course, um, stretched out like this, it's not gonna fit in the hoop. And we want our letters to overlap so it looks like it's more of a cursive writing. So I'm gonna individually select each of the pieces and just move them to where I want so that they're connected and lined up. Make sure that's lined up well. Once we do that, I'll move the entire name in the center and it fits very well in the five by seven hoop. So now to add that background, what I like to use is digital wallpaper and you can find that on Etsy. If you'll just go to Etsy, type in digital wallpaper or any other website that might sell it. And you can find some of the cutest digital wallpaper. Like look at all this. I mean, it looks just like fabric that you would purchase. You can go through by any of these and all of these will work just fine. Um, so once you've selected and purchased your wallpaper, you'll know where it is on your computer. Let's go back to our name and you're going to select each letter individually. And then you're going to choose the first color in the stitch step, which is going to be your positioning stitch. So you'll click on that. It'll open this box and you'll click on the applique tab. From there, you're going to want to set it as applique position, and then it brings up um, sort of an area for you to choose what you want to see inside of it. If you click the simulated, what that's going to do is that's going to show you filled in using the thread color that it already has. You can actually go back and change that color and make it anything that you want. But that's one way of getting sort of a filled in look if you were to put, let's just say, a pink fabric behind it. I like to do the tiled image and then select a wallpaper that I have and then it adds it in there. So we're gonna do that for each of these letters. We'll do the E, applique, applique position, tile, select my fabric. Again for the L, applique, applique position, Okay. So you don't have to use tile. The reason I did it on this is because the flowers on this wallpaper are kind of small. So if I did a single image, it would look like this. And that's cute too. I just sort of like to blow it up and see what it would look like um, in full pattern. So either way, it's whatever your preference is. But that is how you can add color or fabric or any type of design into your, your applique design or let's say your lettering like we did here. All right. There we go. Um, and then you can take a picture of it, show it to customers, or just gives you a really great idea of what it's going to look like once it's stitched up. So I hope this helps everyone. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us through email or um, through Facebook and y'all have a great day.